the electrical and computer engineering department here at the University of Michigan is an amazing place. It was my home for a number of years and uh, I grew up here and I got my education here and over the years I've tried to learn uh, new things in electrical engineering and some physics, a little bit into chemistry and chemical biology, biological sciences, added some level of humanities education also. At various uh, stages of my career, all these pieces have become useful. My education here set me up actually fairly well for what came next. GLASS was a pretty ambitious uh, project. It involved not just technical work, and the technical work spanned from uh, hardware design and computing to software implementation to mechanical design to manufacturing, but it also involved uh, things outside of the technical domain. How we think about the interaction of technology with individuals or, or the society. The people who were involved in it from the very early days were very dedicated to the program to do something different and potentially revolutionary. And we took a very good first step. I'm hoping that over the years, uh, others will iterate on what we did and make it significantly better. We started working on contact lenses uh, about 10 years ago in 2004. Me and my colleagues have developed various components in the ecosystem of functional contact lenses. One of the things that I was very excited about was the potential for these contact lenses to continuously monitor body chemistry and eventually use that information to improve people's health. My recommendation for the students who are currently in the department is to use the department resources because it's a very rich department intellectually, but also expand further beyond the department. At the university, we have many, many resources related to technology, related to science, related to humanities that they can look at. So maybe go to a football game, enjoy your time and learn as much as you can. It's a great place.